Hi, I'm going to read the classic tales of Br'er Rabbit. Br'er Fox, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Bear, and the Peanut Patch. Br'er Fox had the best peanut patch in the country. It was full of lush green vines bursting with plump peanuts that were just about to ripen. All the other creatures on the old plantation were mighty envious of Br'er Fox, except for Br'er Rabbit. Br'er Rabbit would have been envious too if he hadn't found a way to take advantage of the situation. Br'er Rabbit decided to wait until the peanuts were ripe and then sneak through a hole in the fence to snatch whatever peanuts he could. Sure enough, just as soon as the peanuts were ripe, Br'er Fox got up bright and early to check on his patch. Right away, he discovered that someone had been stealing peanuts right out of the vine. Br'er Fox was furious at the robber for running all his, ruining all his hard work, and he was determined to catch the thief. Walking around the outskirts, of the patch, he found a hole in the fence. Just the right size for a crafty rabbit to slip through. Right there, Br'er Fox set a trap. He bent down the branch of an old hickory tree that stood beside the fence and tied a rope at the end of it. At the other end of the rope, he tied a loop and he set that loop down in front of the hole in the fence and weighed it down with a rock. Then he covered it with leaves and grass. Whoever stepped into the trap would be caught in the loop and strung up in the hickory tree by the leg. Br'er Fox was pleased with himself. Ha 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 ha. Now he could catch the thief. That night when Br'er Rabbit sneaked through the hole for more peanuts, he stepped right into the trap. When he kicked away the rock, the loop flew around his leg, dragging him up, up, up into the air between heaven and earth. He was mighty surprised to find himself swinging upside down from the hickory tree. I hope I don't fall, thought Br'er Rabbit, swinging back and forth. Then he had another thought. I hope I do fall, otherwise I might not get down. And there he hung, swinging back and forth and thinking, trying to figure out what to tell Br'er Fox to get out of this one. Well, just as the sun began to rise, Br'er Rabbit heard someone lumbering up the road behind him. Poom, 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 by and by. Br'er Bear ambled on up to the tree and saw Br'er Rabbit hanging there upside down. Howdy, Br'er Rabbit, said Br'er Bear, tilting his head back to look Br'er Rabbit in the face. How are you doing this fine morning? Br'er Rabbit smiled a big smile. I'm very fine, Br'er Bear, very fine. No, sir, you won't catch me complaining today. Br'er Bear was puzzled. But it wasn't hard to puzzle Br'er Bear. What are you doing hanging up there in the elements, Br'er Rabbit? He asked. Well, to tell the truth, told, uh, truth be told, Br'er Bear, I'm making a dollar a minute, said Br'er Rabbit. A dollar a minute? How? Br'er Fox is paying me to keep watch over his peanut patch, Br'er Rabbit explained. Some thief has been stealing his goobers. Yes, sir. This is just about the best job I've ever had. Hanging upside down gives you a whole new perspective on the world. Br'er Rabbit paused. You wouldn't... Nah. Wouldn't what? Br'er Bear asked. Well, you wouldn't want to take over, would you? I mean, I know you got family to feed and you'd make a mighty fine watch bear. And a dollar a minute is nothing to sneeze at. Br'er Bear didn't much like the idea of hanging upside down, but he liked the idea of making a dollar a minute. It wasn't long before Br'er Bear let Br'er Rabbit down, stuck his own leg through in the loop, and took Br'er Rabbit's place hanging upside down from the tree. The branch hung so low that Br'er Bear almost bumped his head on the ground as he dangled in the air. 
Enjoy yourself, Br'er Bear, said Br'er Rabbit. Then he ran to Br'er Fox's house. Oh, Br'er Fox, Br'er Fox, wake up. I'll show you who's been stealing your peanuts, Br'er Rabbit called from outside Br'er Fox's window. Right away, Br'er Fox got up and ran off to the patch with Br'er Rabbit. There they saw Br'er Bear hanging upside down from the tree and grinning bigger than a hyena. Howdy, Br'er Fox, said Br'er Bear. I'm glad I could be. Ow! Br'er Bear didn't finish. Br'er Fox had thwacked him in the behind. What'd you do that for? I'm only here to help out. Br'er Bear stopped again as Br'er Fox swung his stick once more. It went on like this for about half an hour. Every time Br'er Bear tried to explain, Br'er Fox would thwack him again. And every time Br'er Fox thwacked him, Br'er Bear tried even harder to explain what was going on. While all this was going on, Br'er Rabbit slipped away and hid in a nearby pond. He knew that once the thwacking was over, Br'er Bear would come, be coming for him. So he stayed in the pond until he heard Br'er Bear ferociously lumbering down the road. Only Br'er Rabbit's eyes poked out above the mud. Br'er Bear thought he was a bullfrog. Howdy, Br'er Bullfrog, grumbled Br'er Bear. You seen Br'er Rabbit go by? He just went by, crump, said Br'er Rabbit. He went that way, crump, pointing his eyes to the east. Mighty obliged, Br'er Bullfrog, mighty obliged, said Br'er Bear, and off he lumbered. Br'er Rabbit stayed in the pond until Br'er Bear was well out of sight. Then he headed off the other way for home, laughing all the way. Hee 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 ho ho ha ha.